Hello folks, I uh, had a couple questions about how I've been rotating the camera around the scenes and the objects that I'm doing and the final render. So I figured I'd make a quick video and kind of showcase that. Uh, so if we start here with the monkey face in just that as a file, you can see we have a camera, a light, and Suzanne. What we're going to do is hit Shift A. We're going to add in an empty plane axis right here. And then we're just going to scale this up. So you can see this is an empty object right here. This does not render in the final export, so you won't see this. So what we're going to do is input that axis, and it's invisible right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select the camera, and then we're going to shift select the axis. Now, the order in which you select these is very important. You have to select the camera first, and then select the, select the axis. And you will see this is a bright orange, and this is a lighter orange, because if we select them the other way, this orange shows the last color selected, or the last object selected, I'm sorry. So we select the camera, hold shift, select the axis, and then hit control P. And we're gonna set parent to object. Now you'll see that there's a line going from the camera to the axis. So if we rotate the axis, you see the camera move with it, right? So if we hit zero on the keypad, we come over and look at what the camera's seeing. That's fine, this is just for an example purpose. But if we hit zero again, so if we bring up the dope sheet here, and you'll see it right here, we're gonna select the axes, and on frame one, we're gonna hit I and hit rotation. That's gonna insert that keyframe right there on frame one. And then if we take this out to the end, in this case, we'll do frame 250, we're going to hit I, and that'll insert another keyframe. And what that'll do is then you can do the rotation. The way I like to do it is hit R for rotation, Z on the Z axis and hit 360. So now if you hit play on the space bar, you'll see the camera rotating around the objects and you will see the axes rotating as well. And so what happens now is the camera follows that axis from keyframe to keyframe. So if we go back to one, we hit zero on the keypad and hit the space bar, you'll see the camera rotate around the object. And that right there is an easy way to create this. Um, and of course you can animate the camera zooming in, zooming out. You can add in other keyframes. So if you wanted to put a keyframe here and add a different rotation, you could. There's a lot of different ways, but that's the way I do a simple 360 degree rotation around an object. So hope that helped. If you have any questions, be sure to ask in the comments. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.